currently sitting on my back porch enjoying my day off. My husband is currently working on our van, which doesn't run and hasn't since we've owned it. Thanks, Jim. Um, but we have our fingers crossed that it will be running soon and we'll have a van. We're van people. I, I don't know. We've owned several. Um, and they usually end up in the junkyard. Hopefully this one will run. Um, pertinent to our interest, it would be nice to have a van that we can go places in. Um, my husband's in a band and I belly dance and also do burlesque. So it would be nice to have a reliable it's a conversion van. So it would be nice to have a reliable van that we can actually go to gigs in. Um, also hanging outside on my wonderful screened in back porch with Mimi. There's Mimi. Hi, Mimi. So, my back porch, and of course the neighbor is mowing the grass right when I'm doing this, but whatever. So, part of my back porch is one of my favorite things um, about my house. It's, look, I have marvelous fans. Ignore the cobwebs. Yay! Like I feel like a southern belle out here sometimes, like I should be sipping my sweet tea, but I'm not. I'm drinking my Angry Orchard instead. Isn't that cute? It says, I make all the ghouls drool. I got these on sale last Halloween at Walmart. I keep them. Not because this is particularly cold right now, but just because I like walking around with Halloween koozies on my Angry Orchard. Anyway, started a little video yesterday, um, had a private makeup class, um, shout out to Shannon and Angela, you guys did an amazing job on your makeup. Um, we are getting ready for Rock Sinister, which is a um, sexy, tart, mayhem um, production on September the 24th at Upstage, and it is a... I guess you would call it a dark theatrical themed belly dance show um, and we definitely worked on some makeup looks for that. Um, it This year's theme is classic horror movie um, belly dance realness um, and so they took their inspiration from a silent film and so um, we were going full, full face glamour um, black and white realness. So it was fun. Um, I was saying before I did purchase some products from the dollar store, some Wet n Wild products. They actually were really, I enjoyed them. Um, and I did, I was going to come home last night and recall, rec you know, to record um, a video, but I didn't do a complete full face. I had like one eyelash on because I couldn't get the other one on. Um, and then like I put the lipstick on one of the Wet n Wild velvet matte lipstick crayons that I got and it was a tad bit pale for me and I was like oh, this isn't, <laughs> woo this is a look um, so I didn't do I didn't do a full video but hopefully we'll um, do that in the future um, just figured I'd get on here today and talk a little bit about things that are going on at Queens of Denial here in Concord we do have a performance 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 makeup workshop happening next Saturday the 10th um, I believe it is at 10 o'clock let me check on that real quick 11 it's from 11 to 2 we will be taking um, a lunch break um, and at the first half of the class we will be walking down to Tyson which is a wonderful wig shop um, that also has makeup and hair and jewelry and anything you can imagine. Um, so if you're interested in something like that, we usually go down to Tyson where you can purchase anything maybe that you don't already have, maybe a new lipstick, 
um, eyelashes, eyelash glue, brushes, anything. Um, and then we come back up and we pretty much, um, we go through the process of doing a full face. For performance, we do talk about the differences between um, performance for stage versus performance for a festival um, and um, kind of what we do as far as our makeup processes for those different types of performance venues. Um, it's a fun class and like I said it does end at 2 o'clock and then the next week, the next Saturday, we will be doing a performance hair workshop um, where we kind of talk about different types of hair and the different options you can kind of use for that same kind of thing like whether you're dancing on a stage with stage lighting or on the streets at a festival. Um, so those are some things coming up at Queens of Denial and then um, with and then also September 24th is Rock Sinister. It is sold out. Um, I, there is a list I believe somewhere of people anxiously awaiting possible tickets. Um, if you are one of those people that bought extra tickets and maybe you have people who weren't able to use them and you want to offer them up back for sale, um, please you can either send me a message or Wendy a message find the event page and post them in there and you'll have someone snag them up like that. Um, it's going to be a good show. Um, Upstage is going to be closing soon. October the 8th will be the last show at Upstage. It just so happens the October the 8th show will also be a Big Mama's House of Burlesque show. We will be doing our always popular Dirty Disney Fairy Tale show. So definitely get a ticket for that. That will be the very last show ever, ever at Upstage. Um, so if you can't make it to Upstage for Rock Sinister, definitely come see us on October the 8th for the our Dirty Disney show. And we're going to be drinking that bar dry because they've got to get rid of that stuff. So come have a drink with us. Let's see what else is happening. October the 15th um, is the Uncommon Hips Dance Showcase um, by uh, our wonderful friends in Spirit of the Lotus um, where their students get to present some of their untraditional dances that they've come up with. It's going to be a wonderful show. It's at the Duke Energy Theater, um, Spirit Square in Charlotte. Facebook, Uncommon Hips Dance Showcase. Don't miss that one. Um, coming up after that, uh, October the 22nd, the next Saturday, is the Twisted Dance Collective 8th Annual Project Shimmy. Um, it will be at the C CTG Star Theater in Greensboro. Queens of Denial will be there performing as well. Um, and all of those proceeds um, go to benefit the Triad Health Project. So really good reason to get out and support the belly dance community. Um, next, let's see, the next thing we have, we have, I believe it is October the 29th at the Visual Light Theater, Big Mama's House of Burlesque. We'll be doing our annual um, Halloween extravaganza. Um, and so that's going to be a really good show. So the month of September and the month of October are full of opportunities to get out, support your local performance art community because goodness knows the Charlotte area is having a really hard time right now with venues closing and really like the performance community, whether you're a dancer, an aerialist, a hooper, um, a fire performer, a sideshow performer, a burlesque dancer, we all need your support. We need your support so that opportunities for us to share our art with you guys isn't something that fades away and goes away forever. Um, so get out, support performance art, um, support the arts, period, support small business, support it all, because um, we're not rich, we don't make a whole lot of money, um, but definitely we need support from you guys to keep doing what makes us thrive. Um, so yeah, so that's a little video. I'll be posting some more videos, hopefully some makeup things. I'm probably going to get on here and rant about things from time to time. Um, but I hope you guys watch. I hope you enjoy. Um, you can like my Facebook page, Ophelia Pop-Tart, also on Instagram under the same name and also Snapchat. So I'm learning how to use that Snapchat, you guys. It's pretty fun. Um, I stayed up like till midnight on Saturday, Snapchatting. Crystal, shout out Crystal, because we were like, what are you doing? What is that lip color? Look at this dog. What is she wearing? Oh my gosh, I made pudding. That kind of thing. So it was fun. 
So yeah, you can find me on all the social media. Um, and yeah, have a wonderful Labor Day.